We've already discussed how the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, but what if the base is some number other than e? Consider the more general function a to the x, where a is just a real number greater than zero. How do we take the derivative of a function like this? Well, now that we've got the chain rule, we can figure this out. I'll just write here in gray to make sure we remember that a is positive. We're going to find the formula for the derivative of a to the x for any fixed positive number a. Now, we're going to be able to use the chain rule here because a to the x is the same as e to the ln of a to the x because the e and ln would cancel out and just give us the a to the x back. So certainly that is true. But then by our log properties, we can bring this exponent of x that's in the log out as a factor. So this is equal to e to the ln a times x. So we've got a composite function here. We've got e to the power of a function. So we'll be able to use the chain rule. Once more, this first equality is true because e and ln are inverses. And then this second equality is true by our log rules. The log of something to a power is the same as that log with the power taken out as a factor. All right, so let's take the derivative of a to the x, which we see is the same as taking the derivative of e to the ln a times x, since a to the x is equal to e to the ln a times x. Then, to take this derivative, we can just use the chain rule. The derivative of e to a thing is just e to that thing, but then we need to multiply by the derivative of that thing. Thing. The derivative of ln a times x is just ln a, because remember, ln a is just some positive number, so ln a times x, the derivative, will just be the coefficient, which is ln a. Now, e to the ln a times x, the e and the ln would cancel out, just leaving a with x still in the exponent. So, e to the ln a times x is a to the x, and of course, that's still getting multiplied by the natural log of a. And that is our derivative formula. For any positive number a, the derivative of a to the x is a to the x times the natural log of a. And if we let a equal e in this formula, we get a familiar equation. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x times the natural log of e. Of course, the natural log of e is just 1, and so we have the familiar result that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. For another example, let's take the derivative of 3 to the power of x. By applying this formula we just proved, this derivative is going to be 3 to the power of x times the natural log of 3. That's all there is to it. Let's just finish with a warning because this is a common mistake people make, which is to get the power rule confused for the rule that we just proved. You might call the rule we just proved the exponential rule, as it's a derivative rule for exponential functions. When we apply the power rule, our variable is in the base, and we just have some number as the power. For the exponential rule, when we're taking the derivative of an exponential function, the variable is in the exponent. So big difference. Make sure you don't confuse them. We would apply the power rule in a situation like x to the 5, but we would need the exponential rule for a situation like 5 to the x. For the power rule, the variable is the base. For the exponential rule, the variable is the exponent. And there you go. The derivative of a to the x is just a to the x times ln a. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and check out my Calculus One playlist for more. Link in the description. I'm just to be